Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to do a quick video going over some new information we have gotten for Outriders. And a lot of people probably haven't heard this information because it was given to us by one of the developers in a comment on this Reddit thread. And this is on the official's Outrider Reddit, but the Reddit isn't very active yet because the game is not out yet. Like I said, a lot of people probably haven't heard about this. And this Reddit post is just going over some different information we've gotten already about gear sets and different legendary items and how there'll be more class specific perks and more generic perks. That's not the main thing I want to go over, but it is the response that one of the developers gave in the comments here. So there are two types of legendary items. This is someone that has the tag of people can fly, which is the company making this. So this is somebody that actually works at the company that would know this information. There are two types of legendary items in the game, universal and class specific sets. All legendary weapons are universal. So that means none of the legendary weapons have class specific perks on them are universal and there is a few universal legendary armor pieces like the old reliable on the screenshot which we'll go over in a second on top of that each class have a number of legendary sets each reinforcing certain skill combos and play styles with set bonuses which will activate once you have three of the five pieces equipped there are essentially tier sets most people know these diablo sets or world of warcraft tier sets something like that where you need a certain amount then you'll get the bonus active when you have that amount and as three out of five i'm wondering if they're going to be adding or if there are other sets that maybe give additional bonuses the more you have like say something like world of warcraft you would get a bonus at two or three pieces then another bonus with a couple more pieces then usually the final and most powerful bonus was when you had the whole set or almost the whole set equipped the images on skill branch ends do show characters in legendary sets now what he's talking about is all of these at the end of the skill branches of your class it has pictures that are just kind of in the background of your character and these are actual armor sets so that's what he's specifically talking about with this all these pictures are showing your character with different armor sets on the images on the skill branch and do show characters in legendary sets but it's more an artistic re representation and i wouldn't read much into it just because you can use certain sets it doesn't mean that this is the best branch for you so essentially what he's saying is even though they have the character in a specific gear set at the end of the branch doesn't mean that that set is best for that branch is needed with that branch or anything like that it's just essentially they put you know your character in a different cool looking set at the end of each branch of the tree just because you can use certain sets it doesn't mean that this is the best branch for you and i would be happy if people would try various different combinations i know that there are some older images that show legendary items with purple color frames this was talked about in the reddit post so basically some of the earlier gameplay and pictures we got would show a legendary item with a purple border around it that was due to to using a debug tool in development so that's not some like a mix between epic and legendary items in the final game all legendary items have gold frames and there is no upgrade path from epic to legendary so if you haven't followed the game or don't know about this there's going to be a crafting system and one of the parts of that is allowing you to upgrade the rarity of items and i don't think we've specifically been told before that you couldn't upgrade epic to legendary but we're being told here which makes sense because a lot of the perks are more specific to these items upgrading an epic to a legendary would somehow have to like randomly roll a legendary perk on it so that makes sense that you can't upgrade epic up to legendary or anything else up to legendary that being said with crafting there's an option to put legendary mods in lower rarity items there's a that's also another part of the crafting system that you can change the perks at least one perk on pretty much any of your items in lower rarity items so depending on your build and rolls on item attributes epic can be as good if not better than legendary at least until set bonuses are involved now this is pretty cool here so essentially you'll be able to have say an epic item say you got a god world item with one of the perks is a perfect perk for you and you have the best attributes on it you could then learn one of your legendary perks from another item you have and then roll that onto that epic item giving you a pretty close to god world item and that could be the best possible item you can get until you get to your tier set items and then having that tier set would also be giving more power so that would probably overall be better and I'm wondering how this is going to work because I went over in this in the video before if you got legendary items there would be a tier one and tier two perk on it then a legendary item would be a tier one and tier three I'm wondering if on the epic items this might be one of the reasons it would be considered better I'm wondering if you're able to get an epic item that has a tier one and tier two perk on it roll off the tier one perk so put a legendary perk and put that in the slot that had the tier one perk on it so then you can have this epic 
item with a tier 2, tier 3 legendary perk when I'm pretty sure legendary items can't actually have that. And I'm not exactly certain how all of that specifically is going to work, but it is pretty exciting. Now we can go over some of these pictures. So first off, this is the different gear pieces that we're talking about. This is old reliable. This is the universal legendary is talking about. Both the perks on it are not tied to any classes. These just give different buffs and have different effects that aren't tied to specific classes or specific abilities. And then this armor of the reforge is a class specific armor piece that has the tier set bonus. Both its perks are tied into different abilities for this class. And then you get the tier set bonus when you have three of these pieces equipped. And the tier set bonus is pretty strong. It increases feed the flames damage and thermal bomb damage by 50%. And that's both the abilities that are changed or buffed up from the perks. So that's pretty good damage. That's actually a pretty massive damage increase. If you were doing a build using these abilities, getting the tier set bonus, that would be a really big damage increase or just power gain increase in general. That's specifically what they were talking about with the gear sets and the universal gear stuff. Like the developer said, the weapons are all universal. They do not have anything tied to specific classes. That's pretty much all I wanted to go over. Pretty exciting. Like I said in one of the other videos I went over about Outriders, this is one of the most exciting looter shooter games I've seen. It has that incredibly deep RPG customization with a lot of really cool weapons, a lot of really cool abilities, even adding a more tier pieces that just adds more on top of it to choose the specific tier pieces you want the specific mods on those pieces the specific stats on those pieces with the correct abilities and then the correct skill trees so there's so much customization in this game but that's all i want to go over today subscribe if you, you want to see outriders or any other videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this new information and thanks for watching